Hello dear gardeners, I am Ivan Ruski. Welcome to ProPlants channel. Today we are going to talk about how to change hydrangea from pink to blue. Actually, it's not a secret at all. There are many tips on how to make your hydrangea change color from pink to blue. They are all fairly true and they are all related to the fact that the hydrangea produce blue flowers when the soil conditions are sufficiently acid. As we know, acidity of soil, clay, soil or mineral soil mostly dependent on the contents of aluminium cells. Where can we get aluminium cells needed to change the hydrangea to blue? Many people advise burying pieces of aluminium under the hydrangea. Actually, this tip is quite controversial. Aluminium does not readily dissolve in soil because its surface is covered with oxides produced in contact with atmospheric oxygen. The oxides are fairly resistant to all kinds of impacts. Another tip is preparing an alum solution and adding it to water for hydrangeas. This is a good piece of advice, but where do I get alum? Sometimes it can be bought in online stores, sometimes it can be found in a home center or a garden center, but actually it's not readily available as one would like to be. However, soluble aluminium can be easily prepared at home. How can we do it? On the other hand, aluminium is easily available to everyone. For example, I use such aluminium for leads from yogurt containers and various cottage cheese product containers as aluminium source. On the other hand, this aluminium can be dissolved with household acids. I've made a citric acid solution and put a lead on it. I've left it in the solution for a long time, but nothing has happened and nothing ever will. Because, as I've already th said, the aluminium oxide layer on the lid prevents dissolution. Naturally, if aluminium dissolves so easily, it wouldn't be used in contact with lactic acid products. It wouldn't be used for yogurt containers, lots of fruits acid and citric acid as an acidity regulator. So, how do we get soluble aluminium? Actually, it's very simple. Aluminium is highly soluble in alkali solutions, such as sodium, caustic soda and caustic potassium. Where do we get caustic soda at home? All dry pipe and blockers are nothing more than pure caustic soda and caustic potassium. This is exactly what we need. Based on the reaction of aluminium dissolution in caustic soda, caustic soda should be mixed with aluminium in ratio of 1 to 1 and 5. That is, one part of caustic soda and one half of parts of aluminium. A lead weight contains about 4 grams of caustic soda. So per one teaspoon full of caustic soda we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 lead. We dissolve one teaspoon of caustic soda in 50 milliliters of water and tea of a piece, a small one, and put aluminium in there. I don't recommend putting them all at once. Why? Because the reaction can be pretty violent. Hydrogen is released and by the way, hydrogen is explosive. That's why it's better to prepare solutions outdoors. It can be easily done in summer just before hydrangeas bloom. Keep children away as all caustic soda solutions are caustic. And remember to wear hand and eye protection so as not to get hurt by splashes. Add small pieces and wait until aluminium leads are completely dissolved. It may take a whole night for leads to dissolve. Here you can see, for example, how hydrangea is being released as if the leads are boiling. The slower they boil, the better and safer it is. It won't be good if the solution warms up and the reaction is too violent and the solution starts splashing out of the bucket. After all aluminium leads dissolve in the caustic soda solution, you should neutralize it. It's best to use citric acid for neutralization. After the reaction is over, put the tablespoon of citric acid in the solution. Add the resulting solution to a bucket of water and water your hydrangea until it flowers turn to blue. To confirm that the solution is completely natural, we can use our well-known anthocyanin solution that we prepare by infusing one half liter of water on 100 grams of red cabbage for several hours. So we prepare this solution and we add it. Green indicates that we need to add more citric acid. Pink indicates that we have an acidic solution and it's good as it is and you can use it for watering your hydrangeas. Thank you for your attention and thank you for being with us. To subscribe our channel click the red button at the bottom of this video. To make sure you don't miss out on our updates click the bell button. This was Ivan Ruskich and I hope to talk to you soon in our next episodes. Have a good one.